Mom gives me tons of chores. And Eli is so annoying when he plays with his toys. I just want to be left alone. Hold on now. It's important that you're in harmony with every person in your family. My name is Zach, and you're tuned in to listener-supported Keys for Kids. My piano has one bad note, so whenever I play a song, even if I hit all the right keys, it still sounds bad. Sometimes in life, we can do just about everything well, except for getting along with other family members. When we don't, it's like hitting a bad note on a piano. It kind of ruins everything. So take the Apostle Paul's advice in Philippians 2.5. He writes, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Our story today is entitled, One Wrong Note. Maggie flipped through the channels on TV while she finished her snack. All done? Her mom asked. Good. Now, before you do anything else, you need to clean your room and then practice piano. Maggie groaned. Mom! Seeing her mother's warning look, Maggie stopped complaining and hurried to her bedroom. There, she angrily piled books and papers in a corner and flung clothes from the floor onto her bed. Then she reluctantly went to practice her music. After practicing only a short time, Maggie crashed her hands on the keyboard and scowled at her little brother, who was making engine noises as he played with his trucks. "'Get out of here, Eli!' she shouted. You're making me hit the wrong notes. Just then, Mom came into the room. I can't get this music right with Eli in here, Maggie said. It sounds awful. You've been hitting just one wrong note, and it's one that's repeated often. Mom sat down and played several chords. She showed Maggie which note she had been missing. One wrong note in a chord causes discord, a lack of harmony. She looked at Maggie and one member of a family out of harmony with the other members causes discord in a home. Maggie stared down at the piano in silence, avoiding her mother's eyes. Why don't you try this piece again, said Mom. Do it carefully. You'll feel better about it when the notes are all in harmony. Mom got up from the piano bench. Think about what you need to do to be in harmony with your family, too, I know it's not always easy, but Jesus helps us love others the way he does so we can live in harmony together. Trust him to help you change your attitude. Mom turned to Eli. Come on, Eli, you come with me to the kitchen. Maggie tried to be angry as she played, but she knew her mom was right. When she finished practicing, she got up and hurried to the kitchen. Mom, I'm sorry for my bad attitude lately, she said. I know I've been the wrong note around here. I, she hesitated, I need to go clean my room again. Maggie grinned at Eli. You can bring your trucks and come along if you like. So how about you? Are you in harmony with your family? Or are your words and actions off key? Do you yell at your brothers and sisters when they bother you or use your things? Do you snap at your parents when they ask you to do something? Jesus wants to help you have the kind of attitude in your relationships that he did when he became human and died for our sins. Trust him to help you be in harmony with others. Our key verse is Philippians 2.5. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset of Christ Jesus. And our key thought, be in harmony with your family. Have you heard of the Red Rock Mysteries books? Bryce and Ashley are normal teenage twins, except they find adventure wherever they go. They deal with the usual middle school stuff, but they also learn how to track down stolen gold and outlaw kidnappers. Find the Red Rock Mystery Book Series at keysforkids.net and click shop. I'm Zach. Thanks for tuning in to Keys for Kids. Keys for Kids.